Alright guys, in today's video, I'm going to be doing something insane, something I haven't done yet. I'm going to be using the newly added Evolve Bomber and Wall Breakers in the same deck. They're absolutely broken on Path of Legends, and we'll see what we can do with them. Alright, I don't know if it's coincidence that the Evolve Bomber and Evolve Wall Breakers came out as the same time Double Evolutions came out, because they pair so well together. It is insane. The fact that they're both so broken and just pair amazing together... And the Cannoneer also happens to go well with them too. Just all three of those things combined. And well, there you have it. An extremely broken, broken deck. This is probably the best deck in the game. As of now of recording this, the person who is using this deck is number one in the world. So it kind of tells you everything you need to know. I mean, I don't even know between the Evolve Bomber and the Evolve Wall Breakers which is better between the two. So why not just use both when you have both of the evolutions and you're pay to win like myself i mean you might as well right okay so this guy kind of going all in here we're gonna get a delivery down and hopefully we're fine we already got our evolve bomber in rotation courtesy of it being literally one rotation now the evolve wall breakers we don't have those yet but we're gonna go for a drill here and i learned my lesson i believe in my video where i played the evolve bomber i was constantly playing it on defense and i realized you almost never want to play the evolve bomber on defense you always want to play it on offense because it's an offensive card that's where it's going to get value so right there on top of the bowler we only got one shot but that forced archers out of him so you can see for only two elixir we got ship damage on the tower and forced a three elixir card out of him that is pretty insane if you ask me so we're going to play wall breakers here at the bridge and it forces a little prince out of him and uh, that wasn't defended well you see that's the thing the regular wall breakers are already really good so then when you have the evolved ones on top of that it's just forget it at that point okay the evolve these are going to be a bit of a problem loki these are going to be a bit of a problem uh the evo bats i think we're fine though what we're going to do is we're just going to go drill and then we're going to go for wall breakers i don't know maybe he can stop this but i don't think it's going to be easy Bowler comes in. Okay, so Bowler does counter the Evo Wall Breakers fairly decently. I have to say, that was uh, that was pretty nicely defended by him. We're just going to set up a Bomb Tower here, though. Go for, I guess, yeah, Goblins. I was waiting to see if he was maybe going to play his Rage, like trying to predict it, but he didn't do that. So I'm just going to go for a Drill now. And we have our Evo Bomber at the ready. So I am going to play it if he decides to play anything... Uh, Actually, let's try to get a bomber going here. Uh, oh my gosh. You can't make this up, man. You can't make this up. Evo bomber. <sighs> That's ridiculous. I don't know about you all, but you saw that in the end of the last game. How that Evo bomber got two of the bombshells on the tower. That's the thing I don't understand. I feel like it's a little inconsistent. So sometimes the Evo bomber gets one bomb on the tower, splashes on something, goes on the tower, gets one, and then other times it gets two. I don't know how that all works. It probably has to do how far away the unit is from the tower, like what the bouncing's like, but I haven't figured that out yet. I don't know if anyone has because it literally just came out, but that's just one of those things where it's just like, I don't even know. So we're going to go delivery here. Hopefully that's enough with the bomb tower. I hope it is because the cannoneer certainly ain't helping out much against those skellies. I'll tell you that much. So this guy's got an RG. RG tombstone. Kind of a uh, old school deck. And I just realized those... I don't know what I was thinking there. Anyway, let's go bomber with those wall breakers. I don't know what I was thinking. All right. Well, that's just free damage on top of the tower for me. Ton of damage. Yeah, that's... All right. Well... Those goblins kind of sucked, but in my defense, I didn't know he was going to go for a Mother Witch. You could actually make the argument that was a little bit unlucky, but that's alright. I'm just going to go for a Poison here, and I think we'll probably be okay. Just Poison delivery should be adequate. I feel like that was kind of desperation by him. We did so much damage with the Evo Bomber, he kind of panicked and spammed everything. So as far as I know, the... Uh, I thought the tombstone didn't fully count. Hmm. I thought the tombstone didn't fully counter, but maybe if you played in front, it does. Oh, that's what it is. When you played in the middle, it only counters one. But when you played in front, then it counters both. So that's what it is. So even the regular bomber splashed those archers, and he took 
quite a lot of damage. We're going to go goblins at the bridge because he just used a barb barrel. So he's going to have to overcommit on top of these. Or take damage. Okay, yeah, I was going to say, like, no way he's going to ignore those. Especially when he's running the cannoneer. That, uh, that you're going to take even more damage than the princess tower. You could not be ignoring goblins, that's for sure. So we're going to go for wall breakers here. And then go for the drill once again. Because he used his, uh, well, his skelly king is out of cycle. So he's probably going to, okay, I was going to say go for a bar barrel, but he decides to go for Mother Witch, so that's obviously a free poison for me, so we'll take that. And at this point, yeah, this is looking pretty good for us here. I'm just going to pre-place a Bomb Tower, I think. He is going to go for the Evo Archer, so we do got to watch out a little bit. Um, maybe get an Evo Bomber going here? Okay, yeah, nice. That's, that's game. I didn't even need that poison. That poison was actually a mistake. Um, it's okay, though. But, yeah, I didn't need to do that. All right, we got to watch out here. Oh, no. Can the bomber carry me? Yeah, it's going to. Let's go, bomber, the MVP, both of those first two games. All right, so we're in a game here against Swiss, and that last game just reminds me of how just some of the Evos are so bad compared to the others. Like, the Evo RG is just so weak compared to the Evo bomber, for example. But I remember when they all first came out, they were all, like, similar strength. Where they were all very broken, like the Evo RG, Evo Firecracker, they're just all strong. Evo Barbs, I remember, but now it's like some Evos suck and some are good. That's just kind of like what the game, kind of what the game has gotten to at this point. So we might actually have a uh, somewhat similar, this might actually, is this going to be a mirror match? Seems like it. This might actually be a mirror match. This could be kind of cool. So we're going to go Wall Breakers here. He'll definitely go for a bomb, or, uh, bomb tower if he's using... Oh, or that. Yeah, never mind. Yeah, I forgot. He's uh, got the delivery as well. So this is straight up mirror match. We're kind of destroying him though at the moment. So really nice start. He's going to go bomb tower. Interesting placement. I guess he played it like that because he has to worry about the, uh, the Evo bomber, obviously. So... That's something to consider. I, I might have to bomb tower because the cannoneer was locked on something. I actually don't know if I had to. Uh, maybe I didn't. And actually that bomb tower might have sucked because, yep. He could, well, actually, I don't even know if that was that valuable. That, now that I think about it, I don't actually know if that was. Wait, he just messed up. He didn't even, <laughs> wait, I just realized my wall breakers were a mistake because the tower would have targeted them, but he screwed up, so it didn't even matter. Bro, bro just got cooked, holy crap, did he give up? Bro, we'll end off with this, that's a big W, <laughs> destroying him in the mirror, what happened? Did he lose connection, wait, what? What even happened, did he do that, like, wait, what? Like, is he giving up or not? Trying to save his dignity? Okay, no, he's not. All right, well, make sure to like and sub if you enjoyed the video. Give this deck a try. It is so, so broken. It's, it's absurd.